please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you want to get any of this stuff for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. So today, I'm showing you a new product, which is not new, but new to me. It's relatively new in the industry. Um, being a detailer for over 20 years, um, I hate cleaning wheels. And this stuff is supposed to be absolutely amazing. It's from a company called Auto Fanatic. And this comes out of New York, I believe. I found it from the Auto Fanatic YouTube channel. And I'm just being turned on to this channel, which is absolutely amazing. Gentleman does some really great cars. I left a couple comments on the channel. Love the work he does. Works on Ferraris, all kinds of super high-end cars. Absolutely amazing, amazing quality. But forget about the price of the cars. The work that is done is second to none. Being a stickler for detail myself, one of the things I'm kind of a perfectionist, and when I work on cars, even though this is a daily driver, for this actually has two coats of C-Quartz on it. Uh, why would I put two coats of C-Quartz on this car, you ask yourself? Um, I hate going out in the winter in the cold and having to wash and wax cars when it's 40 or 50 degrees out or 30 and snowing, so this car actually has two coats of C-Quartz on it. It's got solution finish on the trim. Everything is actually coated. I gotta redo that. I do that once a year. And I don't like putting any kind of other uh, petroleum or silicone or any kind of sealants on it. I just use the solution finish, which is black. It's like the deepest black I've ever seen. And then I just redo that after washing it. They actually have EBC performance brakes. As you can see, they're green inside. They're so dirty, you cannot see them. Uh, right there, you can see green. But other than that, they're so dark and dirty. I left it for a month because I really wanted to try this product. When you're using a product, um, I've been using Sonax wheel cleaner, which is awesome, but it smells horrible and just you don't want to get that on your face or glasses or anywhere near your mucous membranes. You know, you don't want to breathe it in. It's just wickedly horrible. This stuff you're supposed to actually put inside a foam sprayer, spray it on with the power washer, let it do its thing, and then just wash it off. Now, typically I spray the Sonax on, let it turn purple. So typically what I do is I actually use my Speedmaster Junior, this guy right here. And what I do is I spray the whole thing and coat it really well with the Sonax. And then I go in and get the barrels of the wheels. And then I use this to get the face of the wheels, like a boar's head brush kind of thing to do the face. In case you're wondering uh, what this is, full shot professional tire and trim. So this is basically meant for doing the tires and for doing the plastic, the trim, the trim. Any kind of black plastic, any kind of trim, anywhere you want to do that. The inside of the wheel wells, whatever you want to do, which I'm going to do also, but not in this video. This is just going to be for the rims. I figured if I let EBC green stuff with really strong uh, slider rotors get in here and get this dirty after a month and a half of not even touching it. If it could take this off, this can take anything off. Let me tell you, this stuff is wicked hard to get off. Um, yeah, especially if you leave it on for like a year like some people do. But again, this is, this is really, uh, this is baked on there for about a month and a half, two months. And if this stuff can get it off, I will be thoroughly impressed. I'm actually using, uh, I have a power washer, a small sprayer like this with, for the power washer. And what you do is pull the front out here, pull the nozzle out, pull the tip. And after you get the tip, I have a bottle that goes in. This is the bottle that I use. What you do is you basically just fill a couple ounces of the, the cleaner from Auto Fanatic. And let's see, foam cannon instructions. Fill foam cannon reservoir with clean water up to 80%. Add a few ounces of Auto Fanatic professional cleaning. One to four ounces. Oh, that looks like about four ounces. That's a good amount. I'll fill the rest up with water. Get this tightened up. Uh, let's just see what it looks like in real time. Uh, take the water, the foam cannon, hook this in, and then we're gonna spray it with the foam cannon just to let everything try to melt. And then I'm gonna power wash it. All right, here goes nothing. stuff is the real deal it actually came out amazing no harsh smells no nothing like that it just really really came out good so i'm super happy with this stuff again this is the auto fanatic 
this is my new wheel cleaner. <laughs> Definitely not going back to Sonax with all those harsh chemicals and having to deal with that and smelling that. And, you know, if it gets on anything, it just absolutely stains and destroys it. This stuff's absolutely unbelievable. And it didn't take a lot. I used way too much, obviously. It foamed up like crazy, crazy amount of foam. So only takes a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And yeah, uh, I'm super happy with this stuff. Again, I wish I found it years ago. This came from Auto Fanatic. I promised a video. Here it is. So really loving this stuff. Great job. Just a Speedmaster Junior. You can get something else if you want. And just make sure it's nice and soft. It's not going to scratch the rim. Boar's head brush for the front. And that's all you really need. So there you go. If you want to get like a little detailed brush to get into the lug nuts, again, this is my daily driver, but you get into it with these bristles around the lug nuts. But if you really want to go crazy, obviously you need a smaller little brush, which I have, but you know, again, daily driver. So there it is. That is what it looks like. Comes out phenomenal. I'm going to get these babies dried off and then I'm going to go ahead and put some tire coating. Probably do that in the next video. Whole shot tire coating. So we'll try, see what happens with this. So stay tuned for more. There it is, my new wheel cleaner. Thank you so much to Auto Fanatic. Really f phenomenal, amazing product. Really loving this stuff. I hope this video helped you out. As always, if you wanted to pick up some of this for yourself, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description. And if you can, make sure to click that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the section down below. Thanks again. Take care.